Hey guys, what's going on? Card Foundations here with another sleight of hand type thing tutorial and this is going to be a color change. It's called the paintbrush and it relates directly to the double lift which was the last video if we, that we did and if you didn't see that you might want to check it out before we do this. So here is what the paintbrush looks like I did during the last video. What you do is you double lift, you show your uh, ace of spades or whatever and then you just brush the ink right off the card and turn it into whatever the second card is. I'm gonna show you that one more time, this time in slow motion, because it can be done fairly well in slow motion. So four of diamonds, watch. Just brush off the ink, just like that. Now the great thing about uh, this color change, it's probably one of the easiest, maybe the second easiest color change to do next to maybe the snap change or something. So it's very easy to do. It utilizes the double lift and it's virtually invisible unless you're looking from this angle right here and a bit over. But uh, nobody's gonna be really doing that. So you can do this move 360 degrees surrounded. So probably the easiest, most practical color change to do. So here's how you do it. So in the beginning I said what you do, approach, do your double lift. Again, if you can't do it, there's a tutorial, probably an annotation somewhere around here. Uh, click that. So you have your double lift, so I got my ace of spades and another card. You may want to have them contrast to make it look better. Now what you're going to do is you're going to hold it in this grip. Now this is usually what you would hold the double lift in. What it is, is your thumbs here in about the center and all the rest of your fingers are back here. So you don't want to be holding the corners, you just want to be holding the edge of the center, the edge of the uh, center of the card, just like that, thumb on the face. So what you're going to do is you're going to put it here and brush it over here. And now you're in position to start the brushing move. Now this should be very self-explanatory, but you just push down, uh, kind of forcefully apply some pressure, and just brush it. Now make sure you're holding your um, hand very firmly. You don't want these two cards to separate, only at the end. So firmly brush once. You can brush twice, and you can make it look elegant, make it look like you're actually brushing off the paint. So one, two. And on the third one, what you're going to do is you're going to do the same movement, but this time, instead of holding it like this, um, what you're going to do is you're going to take your thumb and push it off like that. So here's what it looks like. So you go one, two, and what you're going to do is push it off. And what, what that's going to do is cause a bit of a break. You don't need to push it off like an insane amount, just enough so it peels off your fingers. So push it off and then slide it again. And then what should happen is because you pushed it off, your thumb is no longer really holding it, and it just uh, falls right off your finger. So, brush, brush, push your thumb in. And you, you can kind of see there's a bit of a break. I, I don't know how good the camera is to see it, but hopefully you can see it. And then you just let go of the top card and continue the brushing motion. Now, this color change is great because the card is face down when you put it down and if you want it to be a hundred percent undetectable uh, what you can do take your card one two three do your color change uh, get the reaction and then quickly while you're talking just cut the deck or swivel cut whatever you want to do just get the get that card in the middle so it's like no it was not the second card it was not there so Probably one of the easiest color changes, again, a very good way to practice the double lift to color change. If you wanna get like, if you wanna get the best out of your practice, just be like, oh, I got one card and one, two, three. And again, completely angle proof, do it in front of a mirror, in front of a camera, even I would recommend, cause that's more of a real perspective. If you're looking in the mirror, you tend to slow down. And you can do this as quickly or as slowly as you want. The only thing you kind of want to be careful of is uh, when you're actually peeling it off is to have it squared up with the deck. So it lands squared up. It, it doesn't look like you messed up the deck. It's not going to be like here. And then you, once you're done, you just take your new card, flash it in front of them, and say, yeah, it's different. And if you want, you can bury it in the middle of the deck and just continue repeating. It's completely impromptu. Um, you don't need any specific card. If you're doing a certain trick, you may want a certain card. Like you might want to turn it, one. You might want to turn like the Ace of Spades into a Joker for whatever reason, because you're telling a story. But uh, yeah, so that's a pretty easy color change. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to subscribe and like, because that's where 
you guys will get more tutorials and such because I can film them pretty quickly. Hopefully the black and white slash red. I put that there just to um not distract you from the background because I, I find that pretty annoying. So hopefully the black and white doesn't take away from anything. I, I don't think it should. So I have been Card Foundations. Hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Keep practicing.